Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Toyota 4Runner SR5. Now the most suitable features on this SR5 is its power moonroof, you also have your navigation system and your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Toyota 4Runner SR5. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SR5 is its daytime running lights, you also have your fog lamps, and then if we take a closer look just over on the side here, you're going to see your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your running boards, and then taking a look up top here you do have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, foldable mirrors, vortex generators. And up top you're going to see your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls along with your window wiper de-icer and your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door, you do have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, mode select, volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition, display, and cruise control. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you're going to see a couple of different options which include your digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge. And then scrolling through you can see your fuel economy as well as your cruising range and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options which include your digital clock, you have your hazard lights heading into the apps menu, you're going to see your navigation, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look just down below here, you are going to see your temperature control settings with your fan speed, temperature control with your mode select, and then taking a look just underneath that, you'll see your USB and auxiliary with your power outlet, 4x4 select, matted to a automatic transmission. You also have your open and close for your power rear window and your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. And taking a look up top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And a couple of the controls you'll see up top here include your integrated garage door opener as well as your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your traction control on and off, a track and downhill assist control. And then you also have your sunglass case holder. Now, if you do forget your sunglasses at home, you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. And then just to give you a quick idea of what your backup camera is going to look like, just put it into reverse here for you. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just located on your left hand side. Your rear hatch will be located just underneath your foreigner emblem. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now over on your right hand side, you are going to see your rear cargo power outlets. So in the event that you're out at the cabin on the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you also have that uh, rear uh, folding uh, second row seat there, which comes in handy in case you do need the additional space. And then you also have the 50-50 split for your uh, third row as well. So to actually fold it up, all you have to do is just pull on this piece here. Headrests are just located right behind it. And then if you do need to fold it back down, all you have to do is just pull on the strap that's located on this side here. It'll fold the headrest down and then pull on this piece here and it'll fold it back into the floor for you. Now the other thing I like is that you can also open up your rear uh, or your power rear window just by using the uh, key, just by placing in the slot there. So if you hold it all the way to the left there, it'll actually roll the window down for you. So you want to make sure you hold it all the way because if you don't, it'll keep itself open part way. So you want to make sure you hold it all the way until it's completely open. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2016 Toyota 4Runner SR5, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get a spot email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.